A deadly limo crash is raising some big questions about limo safety in our state. Connecticut laws regulating limousine service say very little about seat belts. Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief Kevin Hogan is live now with details and reaction from one industry leader. Kevin? Well, Dennis and Denise, no, we see limousines everywhere in Connecticut, along the interstates, taking people to the casinos or even going to the airports. In general, in the state of Connecticut, if you're a passenger in a stretch limousine, there has to be a seatbelt, but not for party buses. This is a Lincoln MKT limousine. All right. How many does it seat? This is an eight passenger, depending on the size of the conversion. Right. It could, feed, it could see anywhere between six and eight people. Co-owner and operations manager of Joshua's Limousine Service in Gales Ferry, Gary McKeon's responsible for a fleet of 41 limos, stretch, party buses, and coaches. Where New York State doesn't require seatbelts for passengers in the rear of stretch limos, Gary tells me Connecticut does. These are, these are all required. They are. You require? No, the state does. In order to certify it to carry to carry X amount of people, it has to have the same amount of seat belts. In business for nearly 25 years, Gary McKeon says Connecticut requires mandated inspections of certain 10 passenger and above limos and coaches every six months. A team of on-site mechanics routinely go through a punch list of safety checks to stay compliant with state and federal regulations. A party bus, for example, like this, which seats 21 passengers, doesn't require to have installed seat belts because it has opposing bench seating. Because the seats are not individual, it's not mandated by either state or federal law. This company installed seat belts out of convenience and safety for smaller children. The question of seat belts and limo safety inspections is all part of the investigation into the accident in New York. This is the absolute worst nightmare for any of us. It's, you know, it shines a light on the industry, which the industry as a whole is extremely safe. The last thing that any of us want to do is go to bed at night thinking that, you know, we, we were any way responsible for somebody getting hurt. There are dozens of limousine companies throughout Connecticut. What about the drivers? Now, according to Gary McKean of Joshua Limousine, the man who we just talked to, he says that they have to do regular background checks, thorough investigations, as well as random drug testing. Live at the Mobile Newsroom in Norwich, Kevin Hogan, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. Okay.